I bought another exhaust. Sorry, I just can't help myself. And it sounds pretty good. You know the Miata community is a strong one because I put word out there that I was looking to try a different exhaust. At this point, I've tried the Goodwin Super Q and the Goodwin Race exhaust. And they both have their pros and cons, but why not try every exhaust I can find for this car until I find the perfect one for me? And so I put word out there and through a friend of a friend, I heard of a long time Miata guy who was selling his exhaust setup but he's in Santa Barbara and I live in LA. So I drove over three hours to get this new exhaust. And was it worth it? Well, you tell me. This exhaust is pretty uncommon. Seemingly every muffler these days is made by Goodwin, at least for the NC. But this exhaust that I found has actually been an older unit that's been long since discontinued, and it's by Flying Miata. Flying Miata is super prominent with the NA and NB Miata, and kind of with the ND too, but the NC has kind of been the redheaded stepchild. And speaking as a redheaded stepchild, I know exactly what that feels like. Flying Miata has not shown a ton of love to the NC platform, at least thus far. I know they're working on things like a new turbo kit, which sound really, really exciting. But back in the day, at least when this was a new platform, they did try their hand at making NC parts. And one of the first things they made was this exhaust. It's an axle back unit, just like the Super Q or the race exhaust or any other option you can get out there. And it's my understanding that this exhaust led the way for what would become eventually the Super Q from Goodwin. Goodwin saw the flying Miata exhaust and that's pretty good. And then when they stopped making it, they saw the hole in the market and that's why they made the Super Q. So there's gonna be a lot of similarities between the Super Q and this flying Miata exhaust. This is another one of those exhausts that sounds like the way the car could have come from the factory. It's 10 to 15% louder than the stock muffler. There's no drone, which is crucial. If you are super sensitive to cruising drone, you know, when you're in 60 year cruising on the freeway and you get that flat, annoying, whoa, exhaust sound that four cylinders can be infamous for, there's no drone here. So if you're sensitive to that, this is a good option for you, if you can find one. Though, despite this being sort of the progeny from which the Super Q is based, there are differences. This muffler, without a doubt, has the quietest cold start I've ever heard. So again, if you are sensitive to noise, if you're trying to be kinder to your neighbors but want an aftermarket exhaust, this is a great option. This can definitely pass as a sneaky option. But the tone is definitely a bit different from the Super Q. has a more kind of resonant bark to it. In a way, it kind of reminds me of the exhaust note you get on an NA or an NB Miata. Oh, hi there. It's your boy, just checking in. Are you enjoying the video so far? Well, of course you are. That's because this is some grade A primo content we're talking about. So go ahead and show your support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. It's free and helps the channel. All right, back to the video. I wouldn't call it raspy, but there is a bit of sort of huskier, resonant tone to it. 
that you don't get from the Super Q. I think it has quite a lot of character while still being definitely on the more subtle side of things. It's interesting trying all these different exhausts for the NC and seeing what I like and what I don't. I bring up the NA and NB comparison because, well, I've owned several Miatas, I've owned an NA and an NB. But really, it's a tonality thing. Compared to those cars, which are relatively mellow and you put an aftermarket exhaust on them, you know, unless you put like a spec Miata exhaust on an NA or, NA or NB, it'll be a pretty mellow sounding car, relatively speaking. The NC, for whatever reason, when you open the exhaust up, it's way more thrashy. Also, way louder. The pure exhaust volume this platform can produce with the wrong setup is frankly shocking. to me comes across as one of those exhausts that would be a great upgrade if you have a header because it'll keep these sound levels manageable. Or if you're trying to do the OEM plus sort of thing, this is also a good pick. The only challenge, like I mentioned before, is just finding one. Because this muffler is discontinued, you're looking in the second hand market, you have to find someone that has one and hope they sell it to you for a reasonable price. Though, if you are interested, and I may regret this later, I've actually picked up several different exhaust setups for this car, and I'm willing to part with this one for the right price. So if you're in the greater LA or SoCal area, leave a comment down below. I might sell this thing to you for the right price. Man, it sounds good when we get up in the revs too. Really kind of classic Miata. I know I said it before, but it just, it, it's so striking. Has that resonance down low and cleans up up top. Real nice setup. In the interim, I'm gonna shut up and let you just enjoy pure exhaust note from this car from different angles inside and out. Sorry, I did not record an outro because as you can see, it clearly got quite dark up in the canyons. In any case, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all of that. Uh, and if you are in the greater LA area and want to buy this flying me out of muffler, please let me know because it is for sale. In any case, guys, I'll see you guys next time or go to more fun things with cars. Bye.